गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी सिल्वर लेड अलॉय सिस्टम और बाइनरी सिस्टम टू कंपोनेंट और टू कंपोनेंट अलॉय सिस्टम और बाइनरी सिस्टम आल्सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज लेड सिल्वर अलॉय सिस्टम इट इज टू कंपोनेंट सिस्टम विद द फोर पॉसिबल फेज सॉलिड सिल्वर सॉलिड लेड सॉल्यूशन ऑफ सिल्वर प्लस लेड एंड द वेपर सिंस the pressure has nearly no effect on equilibrium so the system can be conveniently represented by a temperature concentration diagram at constant atmospheric pressure in this we are going to see curve ao curve bo point o area aob so in the diagram we see the temperature and the composition now in this we see the point ao the point bo solid silver plus liquid and uh, solid lead plus liquid now here we see the point a o which is called as the freezing point curve of silver now this curve starts from point a uh, the melting point of silver where pure silver coexist as solid and liquid here we say the vapor we are going to um, neglect the curve indicates that the melting point of silver falls gradually on adding lead along ao till the lowest point 303 degrees celsius is reached where the solution get saturated with respect to lead and no more lead can go into the solution so here we see in this at point a o the it is a freezing point and when the silver starts melting it gradually mix with the lead and it get saturated the second point we see is called as the bo where the lead get starts melting at 327 degrees celsius and it get saturated with the silver so here we see that f is equals to c minus p plus 1 where we see the components are two here we can see the component for the solid uh, silver with the lead and for the bo we see the solid lead with the silver so here we say the components are two the phase are also two one will be the solid phase and other will be the liquid phase plus 1 so it will be 2 minus 2 plus 1 so the degree of freedom will be 1 so it is a univariant the second we see is the eutectic of solid uh, lead and solid silver so the point o is called as the eutectic point the two curves ao and bo meets at 303 degrees celsius where we see the three things one is the lead solid lead solid silver and its saturated solution the saturated solution is of fixed composition like 2.6% of silver and 97.4% of the lead no mixture of silver and lead has a melting point lower than the eutectic temperature so this is a 303 which is called as the eutectic temperature and at this temperature we see this composition okay so for this uh, we write point o is equals to f is equals to c minus p plus 2 where we see the components are two but the phases are 3 plus 1 so the degree of freedom is 0 so we say it is a non variant the third thing we see is the area area is aob it represents the solution of the lead and the silver if a sample of lead containing less than 2.6% here we see the 2.6% silver is taken say b dash so on, on allowing the mass so this is b dash and allowing the mass to cool the temperature this temperature will fall without the change in this composition till point 
P dash. This point P dash is reached to point O. That is the curve B O. So on lowering the temperature, lead begins to separate out, and the composition it get varies. So this was all about the curve point O. That is the eutectic point and area A O B. So in a silver lead alloy system, we say that it has two curves. It has one point that is a O that is called as a eutectic point and area is only one that is AOB. Now in this area, uh, above, the surface, above the point what we see above this phase, we say that the vapor phase is neglected over these things. Okay. And uh, below this, what we say, we are considering the solid. We are considering the uh, solid lead, solid uh, silver and the solution. So, this was all about the silver lead alloy system.